Mr. Shaw, ask her to wait five minutes and then come up. lobby for five minutes before I was allowed to come up? You may ask anything you like, my dear. I was busy doing something. You have more secrets than any man I've ever known. Are you saying that as a comment on me or a boast about yourself? <laughs> it's just a fact. But you have known many, many men, haven't uh you? You're forgetting our agreement. The past, beyond two weeks ago, is a closed book. No questions asked. <laughs> but what about now? How long are we going to be in this dreary little town? Well, if you've uh, become bored with our little game, you can go back to New York at any point. In fact, there's a train leaving in an hour. <sighs> All right, I'll stay. Uh, don't look so sad. After all, the last two weeks have been very profitable for you, haven't they? New, expensive clothes, furs, jewelry. That's what you wanted, isn't it? Yes. And... It's not as though your services are coming to me cheaply. You're being paid quite well. I know. And I think you're going to be worth every single penny of it. Uh, what is it you're eventually planning to do to this man? No more questions, Amanda. Well, I'm not just being curious. I'm concerned about you. Oh, we wouldn't want to lose the meal ticket, would we? Have you always been that cynical? Cynical is not the word, Amanda. I think the more appropriate word would be practical. We have a very practical relationship and let's keep it that way now you know where you're going and you know what you're going to do yes good there's one other thing I want you to do for me I want you to hide this in your room oh what is it it's a box obviously but what's in it all right I'll hide it in my room come back as soon as you can will you I'll be waiting for you I'll see you in about two hours. Well, well, Reverend Trask. I shall be meeting you on the back road to salvation. <laughs> 